As Nigeria celebrates its uh, 64th independence anniversary, Kaduna State Governor Senator Obasani has urged Nigerians to remain resilient in the face of adversity and seize opportunities to build a more prosperous future for all. In his Independence Day address at Madubelo Stadium, Kaduna, Governor Sani emphasized the importance of resilience, unity and gradual progress in the nation's journey of nation building. He noted that despite the challenges over the past 64 years, Nigeria continues to demonstrate resilience, achieving significant milestones such as 24 years of uninterrupted democratic governance and becoming Africa's largest economy. Fellow citizens, today we mark yet another significant milestone in our journey as a sovereign nation. We celebrate not just the freedom we have achieved, but the collective effort that has brought us to far. We all know the struggle of our past, the sacrifices of our heroes, and the unwavering spirit of our people. We recognize that nation building is a marathon, not a spring. A journey of incremental progress, not a single achievement. Even where the road is rough, we through on spoiled by the fact that independence is neither an end in itself, nor it is a destination. It is a continuous process of building, striving, and overcoming. Governor Sani also acknowledged the severe economic challenges facing the nation, attributing them to the global economic system and years of mismanagement. He highlighted his administration's efforts to provide relief to the poor and vulnerable while investing in key sectors like agriculture, education, health and innovation to promote long-term development. Some Nigerians have expressed optimism and hope for a brighter future, believing that collective efforts will continue to shape a nation that is just, equitable and prosperous for all. Our nation is grappling with economic difficulties due to the unfair global economic system and years of mismanagement. The federal and state governments have stepped up short, medium and long-term measures to mitigate the hardship of the citizens. We shall continue to build bridges, not walls, to foster inclusivity, not division, and to nurture hope, not despair. Let us draw strength from our resilience and our capacity to unite in the face of adversity. As we move forward, let us confront and embrace the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Let us work together to create a brighter future where every citizen can thrive and reach their full potential. May our collective effort continue to shape a nation that is just, equitable, and prosperous for all. First October today, 64 years. Let our Oga, we know the path before us, the day in, day before. Make bring our Nigeria back. Control pride has the power to do it. Is this hunger? That is the problem. So we want our president to, to help and touch that area. All we need to do now is all to go back, both Christians and Muslims and those who don't have religion. Let's start begging God. Go back to God and beg God for forgiveness. Our leaders, let's be begging God for them. Forget to give them the wisdom and where we are to lead us with truth, Amma. The 64 years of independence serve as a reminder of the enduring call for unity, perseverance and a shared commitment to progress, enabling Nigeria to rise and thrive as a nation of strength and resilience. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.